Let's talk a little bit about voice dictation on iOS devices. I saw a post the other day, I'll put it up in just a second, where somebody who I really respect for their writing and just some of their podcast content, and just creation stuff in general, was talking about how they like to use voice dictation, but Apple's dictation tools aren't all that good. They have room to grow, they need to catch up to other things, but he recommended a different tool. So I kind of want to talk about this whole subject, show off that tool a little bit. Today's video is brought to you by Brain.fm, science-backed focus music that sounds great, by the way. You can check it out linked up down below. The tool that he recommended, let's just get right to the good stuff, is called Whisper Flow, but it's spelled W-I-S-P-R, I believe, Flow. It's in some ways very just like, you know, the AI app that you would expect, right? But a few cool things I like about it is that it can help pick up what you're saying without typos. So like it knows if you've changed your mind when you started talking and it can reformat things and you know say it properly with the right punctuation and stuff. Also, it does have a whispering mode. So like if you're around a bunch of people and you need to talk a little bit quieter, it can still do a good job detecting and picking stuff up. Also, it can integrate with several other services. Now it has a focus on writing. That makes sense why this person, I'll show you in a second, is recommending it. And the big deal here is if you're typing stuff out, or even if you're writing by hand, it's slow. But if you're speaking, it's just naturally faster. So like up to 220 words per minute. So just to cap off the features, auto edits, it's contacts where it can sound like you, you know, in terms of your tone, your voice, so to speak, and it can improve your writing a little bit. There's the pricing for you. So you can try it out for free. That's part of why I wanted to cover it. I'm personally pretty excited about this because I use my voice to write all over the place as much as I can. Um, I don't do a lot of typing anymore unless I have to, and usually more on the iPhone really than the Mac. If I'm at the Mac, I like to just dictate stuff. And oftentimes I'll just have AI kind of take that chunk of text and transcribe it, and then I'll do whatever I want to do with it. Every now and then I do some actual manual typing, but it, I, I've just realized like over the last year, hardly at all, honestly, for actual stuff that I'm trying to produce or work on, because there's something about me, my brain just works better when I'm laying it out like I am right now, just talking. So whether that's interacting with a voice mode with AI, or whether that is doing something like this, where I just will dictate what I actually want to say, and I can slow things down and sort of like parse through it like if I'm actually trying to write something. But oftentimes I'll just do like a brain dump. And sometimes when I'm getting ready in the morning or whatever, just got it going and I'll kind of get my thoughts out uh, that way. Um, so I'm just using it for everything I use it for emails when I'm typing stuff. But let's look at David's post here real quick. His name's David Perel. Definitely worth checking out and giving a follow. But he's like, history is going to remember all the typing we do on our phones as a strange anomaly. Speaking is a much more natural thing than typing. So to him, he's saying voice dictation hasn't caught on because Apple's so far behind. Siri still stinks, constantly makes mistakes. Apple's going to eventually catch up. If you use cutting edge voice dictation tools, it's easy to see we're on the precipice of major change. And then he recommended uh, WhisperSync. But there's another one, uh, Aqua. It's quote unquote dictation that understands. There's several of these out there that you can actually check out. I just wanna take a brief second and let you know about our sponsor today, Brain.fm. I love Brain.fm. I'm literally never without this app on my Mac, on my iPhone, wherever I go, because it just sounds so good. But it's not just about the sound. Brain.fm is science-based, science-backed, and it will help you actually concentrate better. So it actually works as fast as just five minutes. And I love the interface and it just really has a, a quite an effect. Check it out. As you can see, people really love it. And if you check the link down in the description, you can get 30 days free. I'll tell you the reason why I'm all about this, okay? I think it really boils down to speed because I'm the sort of person who likes to listen to audiobooks and podcasts and stuff at two times speed. So uh, that's what the podcasts are set on, for instance. And we get in to the car with the family and it's still on that setting and we start listening to something and it sounds normal to me and everyone's like, can you like put on normal? Uh, because I'm just used to that. And I think I kind of think like that at that speed in my head also. So it makes sense if I'm trying to communicate something for me to go faster at the speed of thought, at the speed of uh, speaking, rather than having to slow down for basically catching up with my fingers. I do feel like though, once again, and I, I don't want, I feel like I've been a little extra harsh on Apple stuff here lately. So I don't want it to feel like, oh, Chris is, super negative at Apple. But like I said recently in the last clip, I believe, you know, if Apple could improve in some situation, it's in our best interest to tell Apple, like, can you please improve this? Because we want our Apple devices to work as good as possible. That's like just common sense. So, I mean, I have found out that when there's an app that offers some sort of voice mode, 
I like to default to using their system because it does seem to work better than Apple's built-in di dictation. So I fall back to Apple's built-in dictation. If I have to use it, then I'll use it because it's gonna get the punctuation wrong. Uh, it's not going to understand everything correctly. One of the best things about Whisperflow is that it understands names and stuff. It will nail the names that Siri is never gonna understand, that Apple's never gonna get right. This service called Zapier, you might've heard of them. They're kind of like IFTTT, if this, then that. They did a survey and only like 34% of people, according to them, were satisfied with the way dictation works for iOS, for instance. So that's what I'm saying. Lots of room for improvement. And if you're looking to get into this and, and hit your stride a little bit more, find a workflow that works better for you, I would say check this out. I mean, there's a free mode. So let me know though, do you dictate a lot of stuff? Do you not? If so, why? If not, why? I'm always curious in other people's workflows because I learn a lot from you guys. You know, I, a lot of people are like, oh, Chris is here. Uh, mostly I'm here on this channel learning rather than teaching, I feel like. I like to have this conversation. So let me know.